<coughs> okay, dear students, Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi uh, wabarakatuhu. Uh, okay, hope everybody is fine and healthy. Uh, our today's lecture is about uh, account receivable management. Look, you can see accounts receivable management. Okay, let me just and give you the recap of uh, the previous lectures. If you remember, <coughs> uh, in semester four, in subject of business finance, we started about working capital management. What? Working capital management. Do you remember? Okay, let me just revise briefly. By working capital, we mean current asset. Simply. Working capital management means the management of current assets. And also the management of the sources of its financing. Okay, have to manage your current assets. So what we have in current assets, you remember, we have cash, marketable securities, account receivable, and inventory management. So the management of all these four, we simply call it working capital management. Okay, we have already studied um, cash, the management of cash, if you remember how to speed up the collection and have to slow down the cash disbursement and also if you have idle cash or if you have uh, useless cash, have to use it productively in investment of marketable securities. <coughs> also if you remember we talked about marketable securities so those were the topics we studied in business finance <coughs> in semester four. But uh, here we talk about accounts receivable management. I think this is the third component of working capital management. So before to go into the depth of the topic, into the detail of uh, the discussion, you must know what is account receivable? What is account? Okay, account receivable. Anybody? Anybody who can tell me what account receivable is? I'm sure if you did not forget it. Okay, let me tell you. Okay, and briefly, the amount which is due by the customers to the company okay you see what I'm talking about here is company and customers and here is what amount okay okay look here whenever a company is selling goods an account to whom to customers by account we means on credit mean a company will collect the amount back from them in a month two or three months not immediately simply that <coughs> so that amount which is payable by customers to company that amount is called what account receivable i hope you got it what we mean by account receivable okay now, I'm talking about accounts receivable management. Point here is account receivable management. <coughs> so, dear students, keep in mind when we talk about account receivable management, we talk about four things. Okay, let me repeat it. When we talk about account receivable management, we talk about four things. Okay, let me tell you one by one. Right. Okay. Number one. 
who is your customer? When you are selling goods to your customers, you must determine who is the customer. What do you mean by who is the customer? We mean by what is the quality of your customers. Why? Because some customers, they are really weak in the payment. When you sell to them, they have lots of problems. They, they have default issues. They cannot pay you back on time. So that is quite common for every business. Whenever they sell goods to customers, they try to know about the customers. Uh, who are your customers? We mean by what is the quality? Mean whether he is financially strong to pay on time, whether he is having a good record of past transaction, whether uh, he is very much punctual in payment. So that is what we mean by the quality. So who is your customer? We mean by the quality, right? Okay. I'm just giving an example. If the customer is paying on time, right, and without any risk, right, we say the quality of the customer is great, good. Whenever the customer is not capable to pay on time and there is some sort of risk related or associated or if you know something bad about it in the past that you had a customer and he couldn't pay to you on time and somebody who has become default so that is what we mean by a customer is having a weak quality so to whom you sell we mean by what is the quality of the customers i hope you got it okay the second point you should know about it okay I, I talked about four factors four variables four point number one is who is your customer number two okay uh, the credit length right what I'm talking about the credit length okay it means when you sell goods an account, you must specify in how much time after customers should pay you back. Okay, if you are giving them one month, so we say the credit length is one month or two months or three months, depending how much time a company is selecting for customers. So uh, when we try to decide about the time of the credit this is the second point we, we are discussing in account receivable management okay the third point we are talking about is when to offer cash discount okay dear students you might have heard of lots of businesses they are offering discounts or just you see lots of banners and logos that is just written on the street that we are offering discount so that is the trade trade discount we are not talking about trade discount there is a difference between trade and cash discount trade discount is when the discount is offered by seller in the meantime of transaction <coughs> while the cash discount is whenever you the customers return loan to you <coughs> and you are just offering discount in the time of the payment of loan so <coughs> the third point we are talking about in this lecture is when to offer cash discount right uh, what is the appropriate time for a business to offer cash discount so inshallah we will discuss in account receivable management that uh, businesses shouldn't offer discount every time there must be a special time and what is that special time inshallah we will talk about it in detail in this lecture inshallah okay next number four is firm collection 
policy okay okay when you sell goods and account to customers so how will you collect back those amount how how it is possible to collect them what are the mean the strategy the technique you are just applying to effectively collect back all of your dues so the firm collection policy initially we will talk about what policy you can adopt in order to collect your receivable okay briefly in this chapter we are talking about four things right number one who is your customer right <coughs> and by 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 whom we mean the quality a person is having a strong financial status a person is not having any past bad record history a person is very much punctual right very much uh, serious in payment paying on time there is no any issues with him <coughs> Okay, the second we have the credit length. Whenever you are selling goods, how much time you are specifying for your customers to return back the amount. In the third, we are talking about the cash discount. Okay, you, I told you should not or businesses should not offer cash discount all the time. No, there must be a logic behind, the reason behind. So the cash discount should be offered in some special cases, right? What are those special cases? Inshallah, I will talk about them. And the four, fourth is the firm collection policy. Okay, when you sell goods, then when you collect them back after a month or two months, that's not an easy task. There are some strategies you must apply to collect the amount back on time without any risk, right? And with no uh, payment uh, to delay, right? Uh, <clears throat> okay, dear students, when we are talking about these four components or variables, we mean by account receivable management. So simply, if somebody asks you, what is account receivable management? It means the management of these four things. Okay. These four variables, what, we, what I, I talk about is, right, must be managed right so if you don't manage to whom you are selling who is your customer and you are careless then you will face some sort of risk maybe a person will become default or the person is having some sort of issues so he cannot pay you on time so this is a risk so you, you need to manage also you must specify the time in how much time customer should pay you back why because if it is not certain so the customer is psychologically not responsible for your payment that he will think of that anytime if he is willing so he will return back to you so that is the second point and also usually the cash discount is offered just briefly telling you when we try to speed up the collection initially I will talk uh, talk about it with examples and the fourth is the policy okay so now just uh, I am going to the next slide look here what is wrong here sorry okay <coughs> again we have four things here quality of trade account okay in the previous slide we talk about four things right so these are the four things just I have talked about it here look who is your customers okay is quality of trade account and the credit length is length of the credit period and also we have when to offer cash discount is the third one and the fourth one is firm collection policy and that is here <coughs> okay okay why we are talking about all these four variables right about the quality of trade account um, length of credit possible cash discount firm collection period because 
because of them if you are not managing if you don't manage if you don't manage these four components right then there is the risk of these two problem these two outcomes right okay what is the risk <coughs> Maybe your average collection period is getting larger. What is the problem? If you're not managing all these four variables or components here, maybe your average collection period is getting larger, right? This is your average collection period. Okay. The second is maybe there is uh, chances of bad debt losses. Okay, uh, let me give you an example. For example, if you are selling to somebody and you are not caring about who is he, if you are not just looking after the quality and the credit worthiness, then there is a possibility that that particular customer may not pay you on time or maybe mm, he is going to pay you in 40 days you have given him 30 days but he is paying you in 40 days or in in two months so what happens the collection period is altered right the collection period right that is changed so this is a risk we try not to extend the collection period we try to collect our receivable on time and if you're not caring about these four factors so there is a risk that the account receivable average collection period may be what may be changed that may change okay okay so one problem I'm just telling you is account receivable average collection period is getting larger. The second problem is maybe uh, that particular person become default. Default means you cannot collect from him, right? Because, because you did not consider before who is he, what is the credit quality, right? So if you are not careful of all these variables, there is a possibility of extending the collection period and also there is a problem that the customers may not pay on time or they become default, right? So now uh, we discuss the quality of trade account, how the quality of trade account affect the account receivable in term of these two things right and then we will discuss with example with numerical example how the length of credit period is affecting account receivable right how the length of credit period is increasing or changing our average collection period and how the average uh, how the length of period may lead toward bad debt losses Uh, okay, dear students, now we are talking about quality of trade account. How the quality of trade account is affecting our account receivable. Okay, let me repeat. How the quality of trade account is affecting our account receivable. Okay, the account receivable can be affected just in terms of two things. Maybe the average collection period is changed also there is a possibility of bad debt losses so come here let me show you okay now we start about uh, to whom we sell we analyze the quality of credit standard or the quality of the customers right uh, so uh, what do we mean by credit standards let me explain the credit standard very much briefly okay uh, dear students for example look into this line okay we have uh, triple a 
right? Sorry for this. And we have two uh, a, and we have one a, right? Okay. What does uh, this mean? Let me explain it, or better, I should explain it in Excel here. Okay. Okay. Um, we talk about the quality of um, the customers' credit. Yeah. Um, the first one is the uh, to whom to whom we sell, right? To whom we sell. Okay. This is the first one. To whom we sell. Uh, look here dear student we have triple a 2a and 1a for example this is what is called the credit rating this is called what this is called credit rating we call it credit rating Okay, what does this credit rating mean? For example, here is a customer. This is a customer, right? This can be a company. This can be okay. This customer, right? The customer is just coming and asking you to sell them goods an account for credit sale. Okay. Now you need to determine who is this customer. For example, you are just asking him that does he have the credit rating certificate? So the credit rating certificate certificate may have the score like this one, triple A. If he is holding a certificate from a credit rating agency and the certificate is having triple A, this triple A means the customer is really really very much stronger and is paying on time so we say the customer credit quality is very much great if he is holding the credit rating of AAA and if the company uh, if the customers or the company or whoever this can be a customer this can be in a company or firm right suppliers whatever who is purchasing from you if he or she is having the the stronger rating it means he is having uh, high credit worthiness and if he is having a it means that is not much acceptable and if for example we have also some other rating triple b 2b or 1b we have 2b right and 1b so what do we mean by all these ratings right uh, companies individuals customers suppliers whoever is coming to purchase from you you just check how much is their rating for example salam university we have cardan we have american and each and every university is having some rating within uh, with, with each hec right higher education commission or ministry of higher education so uh, uh, the university with high rating is <clears throat> more uh, trustworthy th that is more reputed right in the university uh, which is having a lower rating is not much reputed that is not a really good uh, university so similarly the case is within uh, customers if he's having higher rating so that is more acceptable it's mean you are willing to sell goods to him why because he is goods he's good now uh, what is next next now we we are doing some analysis analysis mean if somebody comes to you a company or customers or whoever is coming to you 
then we are just doing some analysis right what is analysis let me tell you an example 